Hi everyone, it's time for another training video. This training video is a little bit about preventing waste and a little bit about making frozen drinks. One of the things that will sink a restaurant faster than anything else is excessive waste. So we want to be careful when we're making um, hot drinks and cold drinks to use just the amount of these ingredients that we need so that we're not pouring a bunch of stuff down the drain. In this next little bit, I'm going to show you somebody just got done making a frozen drink and they're throwing away basically the same volume as what they're selling. And the problem is that the recipe card wasn't followed correctly. So we're going to go through the recipe card so that you'll know exactly how to make a frozen drink. So hang on, check it out, have fun. So here is the picture from a chocolate frozen mocha. And you can see that there's actually just as much left in the cup, left in the blender, as there was sold so look at all that that's being wasted so there's a card on the wall that tells exactly how to make the drinks and one of the things that could be a little bit confusing about it that you need to look out for is the amount of espresso and how to put the espresso in right here it says espresso pumps pumps are pumps from the cold espresso over here these are the products that you want to use for the drinks. Which one you use depends on what you're making. This one is unsweetened, so this goes into cold brew. This one is sweetened, so this one goes into the frap drinks. So over here, I just use shot glasses just so they're easy to see at a distance that you put two, three, and four. But what I need for you to put in is pumps, because if you try and put four shots of hot espresso in here, you'll have to put so much ice in here that you wind up with all this left over. And to throw this much down the drain from selling a drink that size is what keeps, them, keeps us all from getting raises and bonuses. So you really want to pay attention to that. So this tells over here what an ingredient is here for 12. 16 and 20 and here what to do with it so for a 20 ounce for example you put four pumps into the pitcher if there's going to be flavor like this is for a vanilla drink you put four pumps of vanilla into the blender and then the frappe mix you put four scoops in so here is the dark chocolate and the light chocolate and the scoop that you want to measure by is this one right here. This is a two tablespoon scoop. So for this 20 ounce drink right here, you want to put one, two, three, four, four of these into the blender. And then once you get all that stuff put in the blender, then you're going to add milk, cold milk and ice. The ice, you fill the cup up to the top and the milk, you fill the milk up about a third of the way up the cup. So you want to kind of go find this stripe and go to the smallest space on the stripe, the lowest one, and fill the milk to there. So this one you're going to fill to there. And then this is the biggest one. So you're going to fill this one to right here. And this is going to change because we're going to change cups. But once we change the cups, we'll mark on here where to fill it to. So if you put four pumps of espresso in, one, two, three, four, into the pitcher, which will sit right here. So one, two, three, four, oops, there's a little concentrate sitting there. If you see a mess, take two seconds and clean it up. So one, two, three, four, into there. And then either light or dark chocolate, one, two, three, four of these into there. And then if there's any flavor that they're getting, like here's some sugar-free almond. And then according to the recipe card, we want four of those. So we'll put one, two, three, four of those in there. And then just take the cup like a scoop and get it just a little bit less than level. So put that much ice in and then fill it with milk up to here and dump that in then put it up here to blend it and you'll see that this has an on off switch a low to high switch 
and a high low switch. You always want to leave this on the lowest speed because if you leave it on a high speed, when the next person turns it on, it is going to spray drink all over the place and be a huge mess. So don't mind that this pitcher is dirty because we just got done making that other drink. So you want to make sure that the lid is on, although you don't really need this unless you need to push stuff down. So the lid on. Uh, okay, there we go. Oops, see what I did? I left it right there. If I turned it on, it would spray all over. So you want to turn it on right here, and it'll mix a little bit, and then turn it on with this, and then turn it on with this for like 20 seconds, and turn that back on, going back to the right, and going back to the right. So you want to start at the right and go left, left, and then go right, right. So now this will all be mixed up, and it'll be nice and smooth. And it'll come just to the top, and your pitcher will be empty with no waste. And that's what you're looking for. Because if you throw out the same volume of the drink that you make, which is what will happen if you use hot espresso shots from over here. So the big takeaway from this is even though this has shots in it, it says right here you want to use pumps. Be sure to use pumps. Do not draw fre fresh espresso or the heat will melt the ice. You'll wind up with a really thin drink. So this is a perfect drink. You could decorate it with whipped cream, put the lid on it, a straw, and we're good to go. Alrighty, thanks for your attention. See you next video.